Navi taking on Fuching number one, who have players that previously won a world championship with JX Tiger defeating Queen Walkers back a few years ago. Now playing in the GCC for a chance at a rematch. Let's see what happens. Fuching number one kicking this one off against Navi. Taking on Klaus's base. Here we go with a flame flinger and some electro dragons. Starting off with oh, he's got he's used all the sneakies. They're going down here. What else does he want to get? I mean, we have the town hall towards the top side by this monolith up here. Giant down south distracting this mortar to continue to grab that air defense. The E-Dragon can try to chain through the Town Hall, grab the Monolith through here. He drops in an extra balloon in front, which now chains, activates the Town Hall, takes out the Arch Tower. Flame Flingers continue to go to the left. The E-Dragon, he's going to rage and make it invisible, so it targets directly onto the Town Hall now. He freezes the Town Hall and the Monolith, and yes, changes right through Takes out the monolith, takes out the rage tower, and the lightning spells! Yes! Take out the town hall! Whew! Okay. Well done. Town hall goes down with the death of the E-Dragon. Now sends an E-Dragon down to the bottom side to get some change down there. That flame flinger is still going with the rest of the E-Dragons. Now down to the bottom, moving into the Eagle Artillery. Gonna have the Warden join. Pops an early Warden ability. Drops a couple rages to get the chains for these E-Dragons. That Eagle Artillery goes down with ease. Can Look at these snipes of these E-Dragons just absolutely crushing through here. But now can his heroes continue their path through with a sweeper that is down here? Is he gonna, he's still got an Earthquake to use with Super Minions coming out of here. He needs to use another freeze on this section. The Rage on the defensive side is doing a lot for these multis. As he does have a wall breaker for his queen, but he hasn't lured out the clan castle. His E dragons have died off. There's the wall break, which fails to open. Pulls out the lava hound, pops the ability for this queen. Does have a poison spell, but he's not going to have enough with two ground expos. The royal champion's still up, and the lava hound. He wasn't using the freeze. He drops a rage for his royal champion, finds the tornado trap. Drops a poison onto the defensive royal champion with the baby dragon off to the right. Drops a freeze. This RC is not going to be able to have enough. Pops the ability to get a little bit more. Multi goes down and we've got ourselves a defense. Those E-Dragons were looking pretty strong there. But unfortunately, down in this section right through here, not able to get through it as it's a defense. And Gaku's got himself the recall twin the hogs here. With the flame flinger to the top side, queen to the left, dropping the healers. Dropping all the healers. Okay. With that queen gonna charge in, gonna grab a bomb tower. And continue this baby dragon to the left. While the flame flinger gonna grab the top side, gonna have to figure a way to. Take out those mortars without the point player taking too much damage as he drops the headhunter onto the defensive RC to help this queen rages her up and gets through her as the defensive rage will get act no it won't get activated that was close okay now it goes off yeti out in front of the flame flinger to distract the mortars as he looks to find a couple teslas in here makes the queen invisible drops a balloon as well to test for sinking air mines deeper into the space as the queen is pathing her way into the multi, drops a rage, takes it down, drops a freeze, pulls the ground skeleton, and that mortar is going to go down. The flame flinger is going to continue its way to the top side, getting through, eventually trying to get that eagle artillery, as this queen will have to lure out the rest of the CC eventually. Not yet. She's going to be walking around a little bit before getting to that clan castle. Okay, pulls all of the healers back here with that queen before he even lures out that clan castle here. As it looks like he wants to path this queen around into that town hall to get the queen right into here. And then what, send the hogs through a rage over here with the warden and the royal champion. 
You gotta save at least one rage for the hogs if that's what he's planning to do. I don't know. He's got the uh, hog now luring out a couple archers, getting through the king, not having to invest this rage is huge. As, oh no, he's sending the hogs to the top side to that scatter shot. All right, with the flame flinger having the electro titan yeti coming out, but he does lure out the lava hound, the headhunters. That poison lizard is going to help him get through that lava hound quicker, but these healers are hitting his, are getting hit by that town hall as he continues his way to the top side. The hogs are, a lot of them are disappearing as he pops that queen ability. With that king going off, a couple more hogs to the top side, picking off that arch tower. Trying to keep this queen alive, getting through this multi target inferno. He does not, that multi on the top side does stay up, does have the RC ability, which the defensive rage on the backside is doing so much damage here. Trying to have this king go for the defensive queen. Pops RC ability. The rage up expo is doing a lot of work. She's going down. And his queen is the last hope trying to stay alive here and not able to keep the queen. Take that enemy queen down and we've got ourselves a two star. Another defense in this match. X I N for Fooching is in with a hybrid all right starting off with that queen down south by that monolith here raging this queen up to keeping her alive it is charging her way straight into the town hall with a single behind it with a clan castle there as well pulls a seeking air mine with the balloon to keep these healers protected continuing this charge We'll be able to take out the defensive king, but we're going to have two ground expos waiting for this queen. Pathing into this king here, pulling a couple archers, raging up through the king here. He does have that headhunter perfectly used. So we're going to hybrid our char... Oh, these rocket loons, these rocket loons. Oh, these rocket loons. Got to keep that queen alive with that investment of the freeze. A rage. And the archer tower goes down to the baby dragon. That's going to help with damage per second off of the queen. But we've got a lot of damage now with the pups. The other expo is back on this queen here. But if he can keep this queen going, he can charge this queen right through this town hall through here. And then he could start the king either over here or over here. And then send the hybrid, yeah, right on through right over here. So the king, ah, the king's going to maybe go up here. Ah, there you go. That's why he funneled a little bit to push that hybrid in towards that scatter shot drops a heal spell but that queen's gonna have to step up right into the town of poison he's gonna probably find a bunch of red air bumps as he pops his queen ability will she even stay alive there's a giant bomb pops the king ability now running up and around gonna path his way to the eagle with the warden ability protecting the hybrid through this multi queen's grabbing the ground expo the single target inferno was actually distracting protecting this queen so she could stay alive so actually starting that hybrid was very smart to allow this queen to stay protected didn't have to use any extra spells for her as she's staying alive and she's actually now distracting that scatter shot as he's going now into the defensive queen pops the rc ability needs to take her down as ground skeletons pop got one balloon can use it on the archer tower looks like as he continues his way around and looks like he's taking down stars as base with 40 seconds alive, 40 seconds still in the attack, and he's still got his queen alive. Well done. And Booching answers with a triple. Skelly Donut Twin Hogs. Okay, I thought Klaus was gonna kinda go last here, but no, he's got, Klaus is liking his one healer queen charges. Just one healer. Why not? Yeah, just keep that queen alive through the arch tower. With a unicorn assistance, drop it a couple balloons onto the can on the top side. Why why take five or four when you can just take one? You know? He's gonna drop oh oh, he makes the monolith invisible. The bats are going for the bomb tower, which is okay. Right? They should be able to go to the monolith next. Another invis. Oh, is it gonna be enough? That monolith needs to go down. The clan castle's down and the monolith is down. Well done. Okay, with the king to the left. They go path into that eagle. This queen's gonna charge her way to this town hall with the one healer as the king's continuing his way through with that flame flinger down. And that queen is now gonna secure the town hall. She's gonna burn ability, trying to keep that healer alive. Look at that. 
Talo goes down and keeping the healer alive through the ability. All right. Well, that queen's going to continue her way through. If there's any sinking air mines, this healer's dead. But there's not. So he pops the king ability through the defensive king with a headhunter to help assist. And here goes the hog to the bottom side of the space. The queen's not stopping. As we got a lot more hogs coming through with headhunters. Pops the warded ability through the rage. And that queen is still going, making his way. No heal spell. He's got some freezes. Is he going to freeze the scatter? Yes, because it is raged up. You do not want rage up scatter shots to be hitting you. As we got a Yeti coming to the top side. Continuing these hogs through. He's got nine more to utilize as the Yeti's going to distract the enemy queen. Oh my, with a defensive rage going off. He's going to freeze the multi. The scatter shot distracted a little bit. And the Yeti must do not take out that scatter shot. As the Royal Champion is getting stuck onto some skellies. But there's Headhunters onto the defensive queen with a skeleton spell. And he's got this with ease. Klaus absolutely smashing the space with a one healer charge towards that town hall. Pops the ability, swags the invis, and down goes the space without even opening the flame flinger. With a queen charge, Lalo. And it is five healers. You know, he actually needs the five healers. Surprise, not just taking one like Klaus, you know? Do a one healer queen charge for a Lala. Then you could take more balloons, more hounds. As that flame flinger is going to continue to grab the whole right side. And I think the objective of this flame flinger is going to be able to go for this air defense and then essentially grab that multi. That's going to be the important bit for that flame flinger. So the queen can go left with one wall break. Maybe we'll grab this. So the queen walks away like that. But he oh no, he's going to recall this queen. Aha. Uh -huh. He's going to recall this queen and then send her right here. Get her out of this out of this compartment. And then the king is going to come down here. So the queen can charge her way like this. And then the wall break is actually going to sneak in. Uh, the wall break is going to sneak in and go right through here. No, never mind. I'm completely wrong. Because I was like, if it doesn't, if it wall breaks that, it's not really going to do much. The tunnel is over here. So I guess he's going to completely do something completely different with the queen to the far left side. Hello. Okay. Now this angle drops the extra healer there on this queen. So the flame fling is grabbing the small king is going to the top side. That was close. I, you know, I'm trying. I'm trying to see if I can get the prediction right, but I'm not. The wall breaks the wall a little bit more open there. So it's not like it's opening... A critical wall that allow the queen to charge in. Freezing that king. He does have another two rages to use. Pops that king ability onto the enemy queen. Tassel pops in front of the flame flinger. But the big thing is that sweeper positioning. We do have a sweeper that is pointing over this town hall here. And he's going straight over it. Straight over this town hall. With a freeze onto that multi with this whole section raged up. As that queen's continuing to make her way left. The rage spell down there that activates as he needs to keep these balloons alive. If he can, he's going to lose them fast. And we got super minions coming out of the defensive clan castle. But we got no freeze. This is why I'm kind of confused here because he's going straight into a sweeper that's pointing right over the town hall. Does he take out the town hall with the balloons? He does. He makes this queen invisible. Raccoons go running straight to this royal champion. She's taking some damage. He drops a poison spell on the super minion. The queen is dead. And the RC will not be able to get this. So that's why I was confused here. Hmm. I was thinking, well, maybe you pull the queen out of here, send her here, and then she walks like this. And then you wall break this, and he tries to wall break again, and then the queen makes her way all the way through here. While the king funnels down here, and then your Lalo maybe starts up here. I don't know, you know? I guess we'll never know. Nice try. Stars is now up for Navi with the lightning spell. Seven lightning spells and an earthquake, which is to kill the queen, the scatter, the ground expo, and the defensive rage, right? It's got to. I was right. Okay, I predicted that one right. All right. So now if you take this down, bam, now you're going to path your queen, yep, over here, all the way to this town hall. And I think he's going to have the log launcher. 
Well, I mean, if he does that, don't... Well, wait a sec. This queen might go up. Never mind. The queen's gonna go up this way. He doesn't have a... Oh, no. She's gonna... Never mind. Never mind. Hmm. He can get the king. If he... Well, he doesn't have a baby dragon anymore. He's gonna have to get the king here. To run this way. Yep, there you go. And then I was gonna say maybe the royal champ can sneak in and grab this multi because the queen can't grab that. He's still got a log launcher selected. He might switch it up. But this queen cannot make her way to the town hall. She's taking a lot of damage here. Oh, he's gonna go blimp. Okay. He's gonna go blimp to move through, especially to try to get the town hall because look at both sweepers. Both pointing over towards his eagle artillery. He could actually switch this up to a stone slammer. What does he decide to do? Because that's the blimp can. All right, never mind. He's gonna have the those the flame flinger. He goes through every single different <laughs> siege machine option here, as he's gonna have to drop a wizard onto these archers or a couple minions. That works as well. Taking those archers down, and here comes the balloons straight in, and that hound popped instantly. Is he's gonna pass his way to that town hall while the flame flinger is gonna work through the top side. Lava hound to the right. Now the ice cone froze the right side. Out comes some headhunters. He's losing these balloons. The town is not activated yet. That warning ability is gonna be forced way earlier than he wants. And oh no, this is no wait. The last atta attack I saw from Stars, he got a one star. This this can't one star. No, he should be able to secure the two star, but. This is not a typical at all close to a star's attack here. Was he planning for the queen to eventually make her way to the town hall? That queen took way too much damage. And he's got a hound that can't do anything here, right? RC's ability goes off. He dropped the poison spell already. She's going down to these puffs while that flame flinger is about to open up. And it does with a rock loon and a yeti coming out of here. Oh no. Well, this will tie up the war 7-7 seven to seven here. And that hound up top is just going to tank for the Archer Tower a little bit. There's the freeze trying to get every bit of building here with a headhunter as well. Another freeze coming through. 82. Every building will matter. You never know here. It's a close in terms of percentage. The ground expo goes down and that is all he's going to get. 84% to star for stars. And we've got ourselves the Queen Charge Lalo with that Queen off to the right side. With the funnel of the Sneaky Goblins over here, meaning this Queen's going to want to charge her way up to the top side. He does have a Flame Flinger. Uh, how many wall breaks? Two of them. Okay, so Flame Flinger is going to go here, but the problem is the Mortar... Watch out. He's losing a healer straight away to an Archer. That is not good. Drops the king to allow him to now charge that queen straight into this multi. Because there is no wall corner here. So this queen can't path her way there. That, so that bomb tower going down also prevents the queen from walking down this way. Allows the queen to go here and then back in towards this section. While he does use the freeze onto the mortar. So the flame flinger can try to continue to grab that scatter shot. As the queen is raged up. Pulls out this clan castle. Of a bunch of archers, headhunter, and a couple super minions. But that king coming back to life. Oh no, that queen ability being forced here through this section. But if this queen can continue her way up, he does have a couple wall breakers. Will they be able to target inside this core? Yes, he drops two of them. One breaks this wall. If it makes it, it does. And then the other wall breaker won't do much. Just gets a little bit more of the other wall. As the queen can get access to that far right side multi. Super minions are going to snipe the enemy queen as this queen is trying to stay alive here. But the royal champion went down. He's trying to path his way into the town hall. He can pop the warren ability. He makes the queen invisible. Remember, her ability went off, so he doesn't have it to keep her alive. She's getting raged. She's getting hit by... Oh, no! He loses the queen. He raged the queen up too slow. And he's trying to take this town hall down. It does go down to secure the second star, but that queen going down... Was the end of the attack there needed to keep that queen alive or more or less needed that queen ability still intact forcing that queen ability earlier lost the queen at that point and those multis in the core he wanted the wall break oh 
He wanted the wall break to go from here and then go to here to give the queen access to the whole core. But unfortunately, way too much damage with the expo that was onto the wall breaker there. Nice try. And this one is going to be another one that's in the 80s. 84% two star for Fuchi. All right, three two stars. Cynthia is up next for Navi. And it's the 41 Hog Riders. It's not even going to be a Skelly Donut. He's got a poison spell. So he's going to go a blimp. And notice, the blimp is going to do two jobs. It's going to take out the Town Hall. But it's also going to lure out the Clan Castle. So he uses an Earthquake to help take that Town Hall down even quicker. And he lures out the Triple Ice Golem CC. So two objectives of complete. I would say if this clan castle was like over here, that he would probably not have sent the blimp in because it didn't also lure out the clan castle. So it needed to pull that CC out to be worth it. So we could deal with it on the outside edge of the base. So now that this queen is going to be able to help literally take out this multi in this whole section down here, we could potentially drop the king up here and full send the hogs right on through. The hogs literally can make their way through this base and you pop the warden ability like right about here as they as they kind of split off into two different directions. Or not. Send the king in front of the queen. That works too. I mean, you have to defeat you have to take on the enemy king. He doesn't have any extra ice golems. Okay, so that's what the ice golems are gone. So the only other issue is if you do send them up here, they'll split. So you could send them down here. To keep your here no never mind he's gonna go straight up to the top side he's going up as well i was gonna say if you send it down here you could keep your he he uh, heroes alive as they're making their way into the core but he's gonna pop that one ability rages them right on through the headhunters were clipped as well he needs to heal these hogs freezing that multi there's the heal the heal with the freeze up on the multi make sure that the hogs can get tr healed up Getting that Monolith, popping the Queen ability. Healing up again through this core. As he's got Hogs out to the outside over there. Picking out the outside defenses. But Raged Up Multi is absolutely smashing those Hogs. And they're gone. They didn't even stand a chance. It's all a bunch of defenses in this match here. Oh, jeez. Wow, the lowest percentage so far. 75% two star. That's the lowest so far. With Dragon Riders. A Skelly Donut taking out a Monolith. They're also going for a ground. Uh oh, the Clan Castle becomes invisible. This could be the defense that Gaku and Navi are looking for. Will this Clan Castle not go down? Uh oh. The CC stays. Rip to the clan castle. Looking to path this king straight into this multi target inferno section here. Because of the pathing from this arch tower. Should bring him back to this mortar here. And then the queen could make her way to the town hall. Oh, he's going to have the battle drill assistance for this king here. There is the ice golem in front of the queen. And remember the battle drill will take down any building that is tut any build any wall that is touching a building it's coming in this angle so if it comes from this angle of the wizard tower it'll take out these walls if it's coming to this wizard tower it'll take out these walls here if it goes to the sweeper it'll take out these walls but it just won't take out the other side walls here and it opens up a path directly towards this town hall here with Rackloons and a Dragon Rider coming out, but the Queen ability is being forced, and he luckily locks down the Town Hall before these Ice Golems, and he secures the Town Hall here. The Dragon Rider is moving through, does secure the defensive rage here, and this Queen is going to slowly take out that Ice Golem. But that's not too bad here, as we've got now a Yetis picking off the top side Archer Tower. He's going to be able to have the Yetis maybe grab each of these corner air defenses. That is not too bad here with this queen trying to take out the king the yeti might soon try to grab that air defense headhunters warden ability for the headhunters yes and that queen is getting healed slowly back up the bottom mortar is taking her down with that warden ability to the top side with the dragon rise does find a tornado trap sends the rc to the bottom side 
That queen does go down, but can these dragon riders continue their way through? The Lava Hound needs to get out in front of the dragon riders to help tank. The Lava Hound is tanking for the Eagle Artillery shots. Remember, if this three stars, then Fuching will win. But if this doesn't triple, then Navi has a chance to win with a three star of their own. As the Royal Champ does take out the scatter shot, trying to have these Dragon Riders run around the final part of the space with 30 seconds left in the raid. The multi is going to be the next thing up after the scatter shot here as the Hound will pop in a few seconds. These Dragon Riders are very low health. That Dragon Riders at the top side goes down, but this multi is going down. Does he have enough time? It's a race against the clock here for Fuching. Number one, the Archer Tower is picking this Dragon Rider off, and the Dragon Rider goes down, and it's going to be a time fail here, which means that Navi have a chance to win this war on their final attack. Good luck. Kazuma is in with their final attack, and it's actually got to be a 96% two-star for the victory for Navi. If he does not hit that mark, then they may lose. It'll come down to time, and right now, on the scoreboard, you can see 14 minutes and 7 seconds total for Fujing. And right now, Navi have a total of 11 minutes and 8 seconds. So, a 3-minute attack, and Navi will lose by a second. By literally a second! if it takes the whole time to get to 96, 95%. That would be crazy if that happens. <laughs> uh, as that queen is going to go in towards the Eagle Artillery, luring out the clan castle of archers, the headhunters, drops the poison spell now. He didn't lure out the full CC. Did he drop that poison too early? He does pick off that eagle. Well, the... Probably going to have a... Okay, it's going to be a Lava Hound here. He can drop two archers to help with the Hound when it pops. Because the two archers will one-shot the Lava Pups, which is very useful. And two archers. There you go. Don't drop one, you drop two. Because look, boom. Well, I mean, I guess it didn't really matter because it was Rage Up anyways. As he drops the Hogs, he's not waiting. He's going in with the Hogs. The Royal Champion. The Battle Drill. He stuns that. Oh, he pops an early, early ability because he doesn't have heal a heal spell. This scatter shot is going to be raged up. Oh my! Holy! He's continuing this queen off to the right side. He's not waiting around. He's got a minute twenty eight seconds left. Continuing this path through, but that queen's going to now get hit soon by the defensive raged up expo. He makes that queen invisible, trying to path his way to that town hall. Already burned that warden internal tome. He's got four phrases to utilize as the battle drill stuns the single. Freezes the Town Hall, drops the Skeleton, but the Monolith locks onto the Royal Champion first. So that is not good. This could be a one-star. Well, no, the Warden's going to help snipe the Town Hall, so he's okay there. Yep, Warden grabs it. Warden comes in clutch as he continues this Queen off to the right side. Remember, he must get 96% for the victory. 95 is a tie exactly as Hogs are coming to the top side. Rages up this Queen to keep her going. No wall breaks for the Queen. Oh, I know he actually does. He had a wall breaker sneak in to help open up that section as he continues through this ground expo. With 36 seconds left, the Hogs are making their way to the Arch Tower to the top side. He's got a couple freezes. He can keep this queen alive. Hogs can make their way around, and it's looking good for Kazuma to clutch this victory. With 25 seconds left, he's just got to get the percentage at this point with 92, 93, 94. There's a tie, and there is the victory for Navi. And Kazuma delivers the three-star in the end. Oh, look at that. And take a look at the final score. 12 to 11. Navi is going to be victorious. 89.4 to 88.4. GG, Navi.